Welcome to Vacation Station, hosted by Lisa and Nancy, editors of BigBlendMagazines.com. Hey everyone, this is Lisa and Nancy, and today we are back in Natchitoches, Louisiana. It is one of the best places on the planet, wouldn't you say, Nancy? <laughs> Absolutely. It is. Uh, sure. Natchitoches is the it's oldest fun. settlement. We like it. And the most fun settlement of Louisiana. We haven't done all of Louisiana, but it is fun, and you all got to come here. See, I'm, I've got the y'alls. Y'all. Is, is it y'all? Hey, y'all. Got it right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. So we're sitting with Arlene Gould and Kelly West here at the Natchitoches uh, Visitor Bureau, Convention and Visitor Bureau. And um, we are right on Front Street overlooking the Cane River Lake. It is beautiful. It is a beautifully, uh, the beautiful road that is all brick. It's How old is the road? That's old. That's some history well, there, Well, the bricks are probably about 110 years. Wow. Because about eight years ago, they took up all the old 100-year-old bricks, one by one, and did uh, underground utilities and resurfacing oh, wow. and put the bricks back. So probably, I would say about 110 years. So, so the city and the town and community said, you're not getting rid of our bricks. Yes, they did. <laughs> See, that's awesome. Well, that's part of your identity. It retains, that's right, the charm mm -hmm. and, you know, the history mm -hmm. and, the, you know, yeah. yeah. Mm. We love it here. Obviously, this is our third time. We weren't we weren't even supposed to be here, but, I know, but, but we did a detour because you were on the way. It and was calling your name. Well, yes. yes. Well, Lisa, yes. And Nancy. every time we come here, there's something we haven't seen. There is a new experience, right. and um, it's. I think it's. I'm really glad we're here, Nancy and I both, because you know, right now with the whole social distancing, it's like let's find out what there is to see and do. So we're going to talk about you know, road trips that people can do, um, day trips, water fun, festivals, movie trails. Um, you guys have so much going on and hiking trails. Today, Kelly, you took us on a swampy, cool hike. Well, it wasn't <laughs> swampy until you got to the water thing, but yes. um, that was Grady Irwin uh, Nature Reserve. And I saw you guys post that on Facebook and everyone go to Natchitoches.com. Kelly, you want to spell it for everybody? Yeah, sure. N-A-T-C-H-I. T O C H E S dot com. Natchitoches, and it, so it's like Natchitoches, but mm -hmm. it's Natchitoches, that's how you pronounce it. Exactly. Uh, dot com, and from there you get their social media. And uh, But I saw it first on, on Facebook, you guys do awesome jobs, and every time I see it, I'm like, Nancy. Mm -hmm. And Nancy goes, Well, make it happen. Make it happen. <laughs> She's the mother. Uh, but this is a cool trail system that's Really, it's between what we call hotel cir circle. You have your own hotel section, mm -hmm. and then you've got the little, little short drive, which is uh, part of the El Camino Real uh, de las Tejas. El Camino Real de las Tejas, mm -hmm. National Historic Trail. Yes, um, that goes from Mexico to Natchitoches, and it's also part of the Cane River Heritage uh, National Scenic Byway. So this is like a, a basically everything's beautiful and historic here, but this trail. Is really amazing. Well, there's three trails, three parks. One park, three trails. Yes. So, so the, yes, one. <laughs> it's one nature Nancy's area. Nancy's being a brat while we're doing this. I'm just gonna say, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Um, and there are three trails, slightly different lengths. Um, we actually did. Well, we didn't do the full one. We mm -hmm. kind of hip hopped around, cheated, and jumped back to the the trail we came in on to exit out. Um, but we did about half, a little over yeah. half, I think. Mm -hmm. We did of the 1.8 mile um, track, um, but there's a 1.7, a 0.7, and a 1.8. Yeah. Um, and it's a partnership between the Cane River National Heritage Area, the city of Natchitoches, and Northwestern State University. Um, their bi biological department has used that area for a long time for nature research. And so you'll see things through while you're walking the trails. We saw some tin laying down. Well, mm -hmm. that's because it's cut. It's protecting whatever's underneath it that they're studying. And oh, so wow. there's little areas like that. So they do ask you while you're there. If you see something that looks a little odd, just leave it because they're probably studying it. Um, but it, it's a really cool area. They found some really cool things like whales' teeth in there. Um, cool. You know that have been wild. excavated. Yeah, that's cool though. And it sits right between Northwestern Hills Golf Course and our new sports complex, mm -hmm. Park Natchitoches. 
So it's a really cool little area. Um, and it's very shaded, which is one thing I love about it is, I mean, it's very shaded. It was a little bit humid this morning. I mean, even <laughs> mid-morning. Well, we went late. Yeah, we're at the end of the, yeah, it's good to go early, I think. Yeah, it goes super early or later, later mm-hmm. in the evening. Um, but it is, it was, it's a nice shaded, easy, family friendly trail. Mm-hmm. And we saw two great, uh, white, oh, those egrets. great egrets. Beautiful. And the water area, there was a little beaver dam and all kinds of little beaver feet. Tracking some beaver, beaver tracks. tracks. I didn't see their feet, but I saw yeah, their tracks. The tracks. <laughs> I did see I their footprints. Right? Uh, yeah, little <laughs> tracks all over, but also um, those little mud castles made by the mud, by the craw, craw crawfish. Bed, crawfish, the mud bugs. Yeah, well, mud the, bugs. So, yeah. but they're neat. They're like little. So castles. they're coming out and pushing the sand. They're pushing and the mud little, up and building like a little, it's like a little tunnel. Yeah. They're building lobsters. up. Yeah. It's like little lobsters. Mm-hmm. They look like a little lobster. Exactly. Exactly. But they're that. not an you insect. Here, oh, right? gosh, yes, we eat them. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so they're not a, then they're not an insect. No. Oh, no. What, mm-hmm. then they're, they're fish, seafood. No, they're, they're cr- cr- uh, crustaceans. Crustacean because they're in a sh- they're shells. Shell. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, but that's a, that's a big business in Louisiana, the mud bugs, crawfish. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. I know Nancy and I are allergic to mm. fish, seafood, seafood, and everything. Yeah. So and so everybody's like, you're bugging. going to Louisiana and you can't eat any of that? I'm like, no. So Aww. it's like, I'm always like, what are you guys eating over there? What is that? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but that trail system is really beautiful. Two other things we experienced that we didn't before because they were closed is Fort Jessup State Park. And also we went to the Louisiana Museum of uh, Country Music. Museum of Country Music, which was pretty incredible, um, just to see that whole history. Even though it was country music, Arlene, they had a section on juke joints. And remember, you took us <laughs> yeah. to that one juke joint out in the middle of, you know, near, it was near Melrose Plantation. It's uh, to the south. Oh, yeah, you're talking about Babuz. Yeah. Probably Babuz. Yep, the Matoire Brothers juke yes. joint. Yep, way back when. Yeah. Probably back from the 40s, 30s or 40s even. Mm-hmm. It's not open anymore, but... Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. a bummer. Bye-bye. Yeah, it's, 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 it's overgrown. I remember getting yeah. out of the car trying to get a photo, and I'm like, wow, could you imagine? Like, just coming down, you could hear the music coming out of there. You know, just had that visual. Of, and on a Saturday night, well, everybody's Well, Clementine out. always said that she could hear the music from Babuz at her house. Which oh, was wow. Out to Melrose, yeah. And she even painted a, a few painting scenes of, of Saturday night at Babuz. Oh, wow. This is yeah. Clementine Hunter, mm-hmm. famous folk artist um, that really came to her prime at Melrose Plantation, mm-hmm. and she worked there. Yes. And worked and, yep, painted there. That is correct. Well, Mel- Melrose Plantation, to me, is really, like, an amazing story of women and of the arts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's, it definitely is. It's very strong women types. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Between Marie Therese Kwan Kwan, Miss mm-hmm. Cami Henry, of course, you know, she was the one that established the artists in Ryers Colony and Clementine Hunter as well. And Kate Chopin, you know, yeah, the Awakening. not very far from, from Melrose. Wow. So, so so that is on the Cane River, it was part of the Cane River National Heritage Area, mm-hmm. which also includes Cane River Creole National Historical Park, which was how we found Natchitoches mm-hmm. on our yeah. on our Love Your Parks tour going to Dawson Park. about six parks. years ago when mm-hmm. y'all first came out here to do the park. And we do it every, it seems like a July thing. So one day we'll come in a different season when to see, see what it's like. it's not humid. I know, but, <laughs> but it is doable, right? Yeah. That's the thing I want people to know. It's doable. Um, it's doable to keep social distance and, you know, if things open downtown, and go into the stores, wear your mask. Um, restaurants are open. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, shops are open. Cane River Lake is open. People can go splish splashy around. Get on the Cane River Queen, um, and go to the, the other things. Fort Jessup, like we were saying, and then also the um, Country Music Museum. But that's really weekends only, right? Yes. So Fort Jessup, um, the grounds are open Wednesday, Thursday, but it's open for tours Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then. The Country Music Museum at Rebel State Historic Site would be open on Fridays and Saturdays. Which is really cool to have them back open, especially mm-hmm. right now for families, because it's a beautiful drive everywhere. Exactly. Well, and the fact that Fort Jessup is open, and it is such a vital mm. stop in no man's land. Mm. And it tells a big chunk of that story of the no man's land, the neutral strip, mm. um, in between 
the Louisiana Purchase and Spanish Texas and what that why that land was a neutral strip and no policing was happening. No policing. <laughs> there were there were privateers, I'm telling you. Back some then. really good good stories, some mm-hmm. outlaws and in laws and crooks and straights as they say in country music. And um, and throughout that area, but for Jessa, it really tell does a nice job of telling that story, and then moving it forward into no man's land, becoming a part of Louisiana, and then mm-hmm. the the protection of the American border to the Spanish to the west, and in the westward expansion and all of that. It, so. it's, it even has parts of Mexican American uh, war history, Civil yep. War history. I mean, it just goes. It's it's really part of it, and and. Um, I don't know if they're doing the walking tours, the guided walking tours here through the Cane River um, Heritage Area in the downtown. Um, Not doing them. right now, uh, but probably in October. It okay, will in the back. fall. In the Hopefully, fall. depending on what's going on with you know our COVID yeah. situation. But they have, you know, we we do have a map that you can come into our office yeah. and you can kind of do a self guided. But also in our Go Natchitoches app. If you download the app, one of the tours is the walking tour, and oh, they've loaded cool. it in, so you can actually take the tour that Logan, who is the mm-hmm. ranger that usually gives that tour, the one that he gives. So you can actually follow along nice. within the app mm-hmm. with those point, those stops mm-hmm. um, to learn. And of course, my favorite part about that tour is it gives you such a snapshot of the area mm-hmm. from. St. Denis from the discovery, from the colonization and the establishment of the fort. And um, yes, it was established as a military base, but really became more of a trading post. And then how that, you know, expanded outward and how business began right here along Cane River Lake, which was Red the Red River, River mm-hmm. um, and, and which is why the commerce was here, obviously, for transportation purposes. And so um, that, that walking tour really does a really nice job it's of awesome. kind of encapsulating a whole bunch of history into 45 minutes and but you understand it you know what i mean exactly. it's, it's a very interesting i love Easy that to follow walk, uh-huh. that walk and so you get to understand natchitoches and you're in the historic site and it's beautiful because you've got gardens you've got Beaujardine garden right there the uh-huh. water garden you've got the uh roche house is that rock. Roche? Rock. Oh, excuse me <laughs> Gotta learn the, the lingo. House. You were close. You said okay. rope gets rock. I thought that was Roche. <laughs> Roche. Rochelle, Rochelle. No, it's Rochelle. Well, Rochelle. actually, they did come well. from La Rochelle, France, the family. So. See? See? You were see? Close. see? Yeah. See? There it is. Well, that, see, that's the other part is the cultural blend here. Of, yes. You know, mm-hmm. you got Native American, you got African American, you've Spanish. got Spanish, you know, Creole, everything. Everybody's yep. here. And everybody parties. You guys party here a lot. <laughs> and I know, but you didn't we give up all your parties this year, life. right? We just, we just celebrate everything. So. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. going forward this year, some of the events have to be postponed until next year. Yes. Some are continuing because it, you can social distance at them. And then some are moving from the spring that got postponed in the spring to now. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to give everyone kind of a little overview of some of the festivities happening for the rest of the year? Certainly. Um, well, the, the closest one is July 31st through August 1st. Um, the Caddo region, which is the far eastern region of the El Camino Real de los Tejas. We were just there, Nancy. Mm-hmm. Um, that, the section from Natchitoches, Louisiana to Natchitoches, Texas is about 111 miles um, usually the first weekend in May, but obviously with everything that happened, we pushed it to July 31st, August 1st is our annual sail on the trail. Yeah. So this is a big 111 miles of trails, of sails, I should say. Um, so Natchitoches, St. Augustine, Natchitoches, um, all of our main streets are participating. So the stores and shops along Main Street will be open and having sales and um, some of them are sticking racks outside, so you should find some good deals. Our antique stores are participating, flea markets, etc. But people set up garage sales along the trails as well. So literally, you can just kind of stop and shop along this 111 miles. Um, and you know, Natchitoches, our main street is participating. Um, Fort St. John Baptiste State Historic Site will be open. Los Adeus State Historic Site will be open, which, you know, was the mm-hmm. capital of Spanish Texas oh. for 40-something that's years. That's a wild historic mm-hmm. Yes, it's in too. Louisiana. And that's part of where that whole, you know, uh, territorial border issue came up with mm-hmm. 
the French and the Spanish because the French said, no, our border cuts all the way to Sabine River. And the Spanish said, it can. Our capital is 15 miles west of the river. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I love when it fighting. So, you know, that, then that's why we had that strip of neutral, you know, no policing and neutral strip there. Um, but we have some flea markets down there in the Robeline area that are participating. We have a couple of businesses and a lot of garage sales along the route that, are, that mm. are setting up. So we're, it's it's a great opportunity. We'll have our farmer's market that Saturday morning as well on the riverbank downtown. Um, our, you know, Cane River Queen will be running that day. You'll have... That's, you know, this is a cool... It's like a... It's a paddle boat. It's a paddle mm-hmm. boat. And you can take yeah, a, a river tour, essentially, on it. Um, oh. Our kayaks and hydro bikes and stand-up paddle boards and all those will be out. You can rent those and get out on the water. The horse and carriages will be out. So there will be a lot of activity in downtown Natchitoches. If you're just looking to get out for a road trip, that would be a great opportunity to do so. That's awesome. Um, going further into the... Sp- what? What, what? I was just going to say, paddle boards like the stand up paddle uh-huh. boards. Uh-huh. What about gators? Mm, just no. don't fall off. <laughs> well, well, yes, we do have some gators in Cane River Lake. They're actually further out. They're not really in the in the, in the area. area that you're going to be yeah. paddling here in town. It's too loud, and there's too much boat traffic yeah. and things here yeah, in town. Okay. Um, but <laughs> some of the areas that we do kayak back towards this da- the North Dam, I guess. Um, there are some gators. Cool. So, um, cool. but I mean, if you don't mess with them, they don't mess with you. So. Yeah. We usually try to stay toward the middle. Yeah, just kind of stay, <laughs> stay, stay on the, the board. board. And stay on the board. Yeah, yeah. stay on. Stay on. <laughs> stay on the board. Stay right. out of the water. Um, but moving into the fall, um, some of our fall events were, you know, postponed till 2021. That's fine. You know, we so, want everyone to be safe. We want, right. and we want to make sure these events do happen in the future. Yeah. So these, you know, that was a lot of the conversation with a lot of these is if you, if as long as we can have you next year, we don't, you know, mm-hmm. if you need to postpone, postpone because we need, you know, we Everybody want you to, to be, be back. Yeah. Um, but the first weekend in October, October 2nd and 3rd is our Natchitoches car show. And this is like the, it's a big music four, party. 13th, 14th year with mm-hmm. over 400 cars participating in past years. They've already had cars signing up because of course they haven't been able to do any shows lately yeah. either. Mm-hmm. So they're itching to get out and um, it is along Front Street, the Riverbank, and they expanded last year onto Second Street. So it they have the space out. to spread out and socially distance. Cars um, are six feet apart. Well, and normally they're already probably, I would even say eight to ten feet. And normally, they have their so. own air filters, so they're masked up. <laughs> sorry. Yes, they are. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's going to be another really great weekend here in downtown uh, Natchitoches. And then moving on into October, uh, Natchitoches Historic Foundation will be doing their American Cemetery Tour. That's um, cool. It will be ticketed, and they'll have limited numbers through each tour. Um Melrose, so normally the second weekend in October is our fall tour of homes, and it's being modified a little bit. They will still do the country tour, um, which is down river, the homes down river, um, but they will also be doing a modified Melrose Arts and Crafts Festival. It's a fall country a arts though. and crafts festival on the grounds, um, at, on the grounds at Melrose, and um, this is an event that people look forward to every year. They flock, they come from states away to come mm-hmm. to arts and crafts, and so obviously with it being post, you know postponed, canceled in April, they wanted to bring something in it. It's outdoors, so you can socially distance. Um, it is you know in the fresh air, and so they're going to be go- moving forward with that that second weekend. Um, our beer and wine festival, Taptober, will be happening that second Saturday in See, October. See, now that is incredibly important. <laughs> yes, it is. They will be modifying how they're doing things. I'm not sure what it will look like, but it, they say it, it will happen that second Saturday. So we're looking forward to that as well. The end of the month, um, the National Park and National Heritage Area will partner together on their uh, Cane River Fall Festival. Mm. Um, they're working out. Obviously, it's on the national park, so you can be able to social, socially distance. It's huge. Uh, and it's outside, and they're working on what that will look like and feel like as well. And then moving into November, um, we will have lights. Christmas lights. Christmas lights. You guys are famous for your Christmas We are known lights. for our Natchitoches Christmas Festival. 94 years 
since 1927. Wow. Um, and so we do know that the lights will be on, and, the, and they do plan to have fireworks every Saturday from November 21st through December 26th. Um, we are, and we're updating the calendar as we go along with anything else that's added. Um, last, we talked to the um, Florida League Arts and Crafts show, which is the Saturday after Thanksgiving, will still be taking place as well. Um, so we have things coming up. Um, it, they're a little bit more spaced out on the calendar than in past, but um, but we're excited and we're, we're glad our community partners are really coming together yeah. and saying, you know, certain things will have to happen to keep us moving forward. So how can we do it in a very safe and distanced way? And so those are the things that we're looking forward to. That's awesome. You can keep your Christmas going because that's a that's a big deal. It's a big season mm -hmm. for and for a lot of our merchants. I mean, sure. that's very important season for and, them. And meat pies are, are a part of all of that too. So I just got to ask them. Meat pies people can still get them in Natchitoches. Oh yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Anywhere. I just everywhere. To, well, no, because we have people in Texas saying you've got to go to Natchitoches and have meat pies. And we're like, well, we know, but now I'm like, oh, you know, people want to mm -hmm. know that they're still. Right. Able to yes. come and eat them and you get meat pies pretty much year round. Yes. So. Okay. It's a big deal though, and they're delicious. Yes. They're like lovely little empanadas, but mm -hmm. they're not an empanada, and they're not the same. <laughs> it's not the it's same. It's meat pie. It's a yeah. Irish meat pie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's actually a state and a state a state official food item. See. Macaroni meat pie. Uh, speaking of state, um, Louisiana has a film trail, and so does Natchitoches has two. You have a Steel Magnolias film trail and a Natchitoches film trail, and I think that's really important for people now wanting to have some common, kind of an adventure. And Arlene just showed us the best armadillo cake ever. Oh, that's so cute. I know. Nancy and I have been wanting to make one, but I know. hard to do it in a hotel room. Oh. Well, we, you know, after the movie was filmed here in 1988, um, people have always had an interest, and when they've come here and, and learned that it's a true story, and we came up, you know, a couple of years ago with a, uh, a Steel Magnolias brochure where they can go to the actual film sites. And then about two years ago, the Louisiana Office of Tourism uh, launched their Louisiana Film Trail. Actually, it was in 2018. And the reason I remember that, it was because it was the 100 year anniversary of the movie Tarzan. Mm, that's Tarzan right. was filmed in Louisiana in 1918. So for the 100 year anniversary, they launched the Louisiana Film Trail. So last year, we uh, we did a little Natchitoches Film Trail to include Steel Magnolias and the Horse Soldiers that was filmed here with John, John Wayne. Wayne. That's right, the Duke. And then uh, Man in the Moon, which was Reese Witherspoon's mm -hmm. first movie. And um, the, the Year Without a Santa Claus with John Goodman filmed here several years ago. So we've had a few... A few movies filmed around town but we um, we have a nice little brochure with a listing of all the movies and map guides where people can drive on their own again social distancing and going yeah. at their own leisure and to see where some of these sites are where the films were, were, were you know took place and it's all on your website too and yes. let's go Natchitoches app uh -huh. yep. okay so people can follow that way I think that's cool for like families to watch the movie and then go and mm -hmm. see and it's just another way I love driving tours if it's like an art tour or like the tour of homes where you go from place to place because you yes. get to see everywhere mm -hmm. you know so that's a really that's something people can do yeah. year round but oh, well, you know it's it's a lot of fun like you said watch the movie and then come to see the actual sites yeah. and, and and even in the in the movie still may know the opening scene was filmed right here on front street you see the little team of boys going down to the stage on the river bank and it's kind of like oh yes that's right here where we are you know see? that's cool <laughs> um speaking of trails the other trail that i know you are working on last year was um uh, the Jefferson Trail, like this is a driving Jefferson route. Highway. Yes, um, the Jefferson Highway was actually a, a, an international highway um, that was kind of came out in 1915, so over a hundred years ago. Uh, but it, it goes from Winnipeg, Canada, all the way to New Orleans, and it ends there. So it's called the the Pine to Palm Highway, uh, and and it was kind of created because. You know, cars were coming mm. off, you know, they were mm. building cars, but they had no roads. So each, it, you know, goes pretty much to the whole Louisiana Purchase Territory, again, from Winnipeg, Canada, all the way down to New Orleans. Wow. So, um, but even, just here through Louisiana, it goes through 17 parishes, uh, including here in Natchitoches. 
Uh, you know, everybody else has counties. We're special. We have parishes. <laughs> you know, but hey, I, that's funny. when people hear that, they say, "What's a parish?" I know. I, I thought it was like church districts. That's how it was. Yep. That's why. That's where well, it that's derived why. from. Yep. Yeah, yeah, from from living in England, mm-hmm. and and yeah, the England had parishes and uh-huh. mm-hmm. villages, and and to me. This is not a city to me. I know it's a city, but to me, this is a village. This is a historical mm-hmm. village when you're in the downtown area. But you have all the city stuff on the other yeah. side of town, and you know, well, go over the city, bridge. The and- Natchitoches city limits uh, population is around eighteen thousand, and then in the parish wide, it's about forty thousand. So it's mm-hmm. still considered well, you guys pretty, are pretty rural. spread out. I mean. Nancy, we it is. It's a large parish. Remember mm-hmm. that one night Land we did dinner with you, and we found the rest of the That's parish. That's right, y'all got lost. <laughs> and we found everywhere else of Natchitoches <laughs> Parish. We kept going. We're in look, the dark, looking for our medallions. It's yes. like you're not lost. You're still in Natchitoches. Yeah. <laughs> I know. We're like somewhere. It was, you know, really. Oh well, that was fun. But it happens. but there's so plantations. You've got you know the Cane River Creole National Historical Park has two. Um, is the Grand Accord, um Visitor Center open still for the No Man's Land and it Cane is, River Heritage Area? It is still closed down right now Okay, because it is um, ran through the Army Corps of Engineers, so oh. it's a federal. Yeah. And so um, that and our fish hatchery have not reopened yet. Okay. So we're still waiting on, hopefully, if we can mm-hmm. get into Phase 3, hopefully that those would be opening um, pretty soon. But um, but they will open. Mm-hmm. They just have not given this, uh, the pandemic. Okay. So now... Um, we are going to some more new places. We're going to Briarwood Preserve tomorrow. Yes. And that's something that we've been wanting to do for yeah. a very long time. And I know it's actually closed mm-hmm. in the summer, but it will open in the fall. Usually yeah, around October, October, November. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be another little nature trip. So there's a lot of nature things and mm-hmm. Kasachi National Forest. Yes. Yeah. So And that's something I want to do in spring because I hear you've got lots of azaleas. A lot of azaleas. Mm, it's it's beautiful, like beautiful. Um, mm. Yes, yeah, spring in Kasachi is absolutely beautiful and fantastic. And and you know the connection between Kasachi and Briarwood is Carolyn Dorman. Mm. So Carolyn Dorman is known as the mother of Kasachi. She she advocated and she's the one that really got Kasachi National Forest to be recognized as a national forest. Um, and Briarwood was her childhood home. Mm. So it's the Briarwood Carolyn Dorman Nature Preserve, and it is a national nature area. So um, oh, wow. it's a very cool. they got that designation a few years ago. Yeah. Um, and is yes, it is it is absolutely beautiful out there. They have some really unique um, plants that I've never seen. They have one of the oldest pine trees in the state of Louisiana. You will see that as well. Yeah. And, uh, it's not as old as me. <laughs> <laughs> well, well I'm not saying anything. It's almost, it's almost 400 years old. Oh, wow. wow. So, I mean, wow. it it's got is. got a few hundred years on me. Yeah. Yes. Sure it's Grandpappy, huh? Yeah, yeah. I think it's called Grandpappy. Yeah. Grandpappy. So, um, yeah, and, and it's really cool because there's a pond just beyond it. And it was because oh, Caroline the built the pond mm. for the reflection of Grandpappy on the pond. Like, that's why she put the it's pond. Grandpappy's got his on, on Grandpappy's yeah, pond. It was her reflection pool for the tree. And so, um, I mean, she's... Nice. I've and seen her it's photo. Really she's cool just... A, she reminds me of Mar- Marjorie... Uh, I wouldn't get her... The Everglades lady. Uh, Douglas Stone... You, mm. you know, she did a lot of well. Carol Dorman did a lot of illustrations of right. all the nature plants yeah. and documentation of all mm-hmm. the. But people didn't expect women stuff. back in the day to be off, you know, traipsing around in the forest. And there's a, actually quite a few. And one day I want to do a whole series on these women. Mm-hmm. Uh, Priscilla Thew right. um, went off in the west in the Sierra Mountains, and if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have Sequoia National Park expanded mm-hmm. into half of what it is today. Mm-hmm. And she inspired Ansel Adams to fight for other parks to get them expanded and so I'm I can't wait to just go where she was I know even in um, the forest uh, Kasachi forest I was just like I want to meet her I know I can't but you know <laughs> oh I find that fascinating because it yeah. was a you're supposed to be at home in the kitchen at that point and they're like no we're we're playing in the plants and right. all of that good stuff Kasachi National Forest because I mean, you it's, it's fast to get to I think from here but 
it I remember when we first all met you all like when what 2006 2014. Really? Oh my gosh. It was our and, and you were year. in Alexandria. Yes. We went to Lake Kincaid. Uh huh. Kincaid Lake, yeah. And that is still part of that yes. forest. So, Kazachi National Forest is 147,000. It's, it's the only like forest. That. It's the only national it has forest. Seven districts. But it has seven districts. It's so, crazy. it ranges from central Louisiana all the way up to north Louisiana. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's almost half the state. And it has longleaf pine and. Yes, no first longleaf pine, and it's, um, it's a. Um, Protection area for the red cockaded woodpecker and a few other birds as well. Mm. Um, Orchids, yes, and um, and then the there is the wild azalea trail south of Alexandria that is the longest hiking trail in the state. Um, it's like thirty one miles long, so you know at its mm. full. Come on, Nancy. Thirty one miles. Yes, come on. Oh. Uh, she said her knee may not take that. Out. Well, she's got her big stick. <laughs> She does carry if her big just stick. She takes her You're water right. and her big stick and her porta vino with wine. Right. She'll be quite oh. fine. She'll make it through everything. We'll be like, in oh. another while, Mom, you're going to have some more porta vino. I know. See, and I would do it. If I, <laughs> just don't rush me. I just, I walk I'll with a little cup and take Come on, come on. <laughs> Speaking of food and wine, okay, so. Last time we were here, of course, we, you know, it, listen, Natchitoches is a giant pig out. I'm just put it this way. Oh, oh, nice. There's really good food here, in other words. But um, we went to new places that we haven't been to this time. Um, but let's start with next door. I had to leave because it was danger, danger, danger. You work next to a candy shop. How dangerous is that, you know, to live, uh, well, I was going to say live and work next to it. You know, because I know you guys practically live here, but you know. Well, and, and I'm going to tell you, so so I'm not big on a whole lot of sweets, so so it's okay. But when I do need a Coke or a soda or something, mm -hmm. I'll, they do have flavored sodas and things. So I will, I'll be like, okay, I'm going next door, mm -hmm. um, and they do have macaroons. Which and are licorice. probably nice. the they they like licorice. Oh my me. god, I'm a I'm terrible about oh, licorice. I saw it and I was like, you. Once I start, then they have all those old candies. Remember those? Like all those, like they have the like taffies the and, and the, the taffies. oh yes, and all and you can stuff your cup. So you get a little cup, you stuff it full of candy, you pay one price, and so um, you stuff your cup with candy. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, we might have to stuff a cup. I want to stuff a cup. Like I bet you do. When was the last time you stuffed a cup? <laughs> I'm not telling. <laughs> Is that what you were doing earlier? <laughs> well, no. Shh. No, no. What if, today, today we also had lunch at um, Almost Home. I keep wanting to say Almost Family, mm. but it is a family. Kind of feels like was, it, it, you're almost family when you go in there because it's family owned and operated. It is. Well, sure is. And, it, and it has a lake view of Lake Sibley, which we Sibley have a lake. Is that related to Steel Magnolias? Some, some, no, Shelby. Sorry, I thought of Shelby. I get uh, Shelby. Sibley and Shelby. It's a Sibley bird guide. You're right. It's the, the bird Sibley guide that bird makes guide. me think but there's a But I don't know connection. if it's the same Sib Sibley family. I don't know. But it's a beautiful lake. Yes. So that's one of our recre you know, our true recreation lakes. Um, you know, we do have Cane River Lake, and people do fish on it. But a lot of times our fishermen will go to Sibley Lake. It's more wide open um, where you can get in a, in a motorboat and go, you know, and skiing across the lake and things like that because, obviously, Cane River Lake is only so wide. Yeah. Um, but it is a very beautiful lake. A lot of people live on it. It is um, on one side of town, essentially. So it's, it's between the town and the interstate. Um, and But Almost Home is situated right there on, on the, the lake. Water. Um, nice view, huh? With a beautiful oh view. So when you go to eat there, you have to eat in the back room. Yeah, go to the to back. overlook. Mm the the Beautiful. lake I was gonna go to um, the but it is it is a buffet style family style uh, meal and get there early yeah get there early they mm -hmm. do sell out of foods um, but they have things like fried pork chops or fried chicken um, the enchilada casserole oh my god tried Hello. today um, Nancy got enchiladas last night and I still don't did they do <laughs> she's there <laughs> The guy gave me the rest of the mac and cheese. Oh, you've yeah. got the end of the yeah, mac. Yeah, he says, Ooh. well, don't here, just take it. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I'm you are like a little fancy. Homemade mac and cheese, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. But they serve greens. The last time we were there, they had cabbage. Yeah. Um, so Collins. they had hamburger steaks today. The last time we were there, they had meatloaf. Their meatloaf is Let's um, talk about the hot water cornbread. 
Oh, that's yeah, right. That's oh, what a good. good bread. I've yeah. never had that. And it looks like a cookie. A flying so it's like fry bread in a way. That's exactly. Yeah, it's like a fry bread. It's, yes. Because it's fried. just mixed with, so when you're mixing up your cornbread batter, you mix with hot water. Normally, you wouldn't use mm -hmm. hot water. So you use hot water, mix it up, and then you drop the batter into um, grease and yeah. fry it. Right. No wonder I liked it. Yeah. yeah. Listen, you all like your fried foods over here. Yeah, yeah. I do a lot of fried, a okay. bit of everything. What's this whole new thing with the gas station? Oh, Kelly's working on something. <laughs> yeah, so um, it, we're, we are working on a new food trail through No Man's Land um, that will highlight some of our roadside food eateries and gas station foods. See, and I'm telling you, fried food. That's why I'm bringing up the fried well, food. But French I Express mean, is better. I, I was going to say, you, you experienced one of the the ones that is on the night. And we did it. Nancy and I kept going back, and that one time we've never had this. We, and we walked out with like. <laughs> buckets of fried food. Yes. Yes. I want to try so, this. French, French Market Express. It's actually a gas station right there by the it's interstate. Right, right, it's right in front of your hotel. This is the best That's the thing. Dangerous it's thing. right. So the hotels we've we've stayed in two there now. So it's these hotels are all all Shopco Shopco properties. Okay, so you've got Holiday Inn Express. You must stay there. They've done a, an amazing renovation, and you will sleep like a baby. It is. I, is when they say king bed, I mean, comfy. that's bigger than our car that we drive across. <laughs> I mean, that, that king bed, you roll around and you're like, no one's in here. This is all mine. <laughs> Loving it. Um, very, very nice. But then also we stayed at the Best Western before. Mm -hmm. They have the days in there. Um, and a comfort suite. And a comfort in suites. And... There's Daisy, the little dog that runs oh, around so and greets cute. everybody. This is important when you know when she's you stay so somewhere. Sweet. She's she is cutie. very cute, and the, all the hotels have little things of water for her. She just walks through the door when she wants to visit, and um, it's, it's very so cute. And she is cute. She's so. like the Sharp Cut Hotels ambassador. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and and they are serving breakfast. So some hotels, when you're staying there, they can't, and everybody's got different things. But what they've done there is. Their dining room, there's a nice forest area. Mm -hmm. You can sit and look out in the forest. And Candace, who was managing the Best Western last year when we were here, is now managing the Holiday Inn. Yep. She made us breakfast today. And she's like, well, what would you like? And I'm like, well, what do you have? <laughs> she made us breakfast, and they, yeah, they were gloves. Yes. And they're serving. And you know, normally in the Holiday Inn, you go in and do your own thing. But they're serving it to you. Everybody stay. They've socially distanced the tables, yes. so you can get breakfast in your hotel. I'm just gonna say that to everyone because it's a big deal. When yep. You travel. It is very yes. A lot of them are doing breakfast so. together. They'll put it in a yeah. little brown bag right. and that, take it. And that to totally them. works too. I, yes. I think that you know, um, but we've seen some that have just like that's it. No, and I understand. I'm just mm -hmm. for everybody Depends traveling on. right now. So you've got you've got. I call it the Sharp Co Hotel Circle. <laughs> And then French Market Express at the gas station. And yes. French Market Express also has wine. Yes. <laughs> Good wine. It hey, does. listen, we arrived on National Daiquiri Day. And we knew. We knew what, what you know, Natchez was about. They calendar. have drive through daiquiris. <laughs> the last time we did our show here, Kelly made sure we went through a drive through daiquiri thing. That's right. So there's a lot of fun. But the gas station thing, so this is. So no man's land. You guys were doing this three year celebration. Now it's just going to be forever. Like yep. yeah, with food and celebrations and history, and the cultural and, history. Yeah, but food is part of that. Food yeah. is a huge part of that for mm -hmm. especially for this area of Louisiana. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously Natchitoches being in the north with our meat pies, and then um, Zawali tamales are in there down around Lake good. Charles. You know, their boudin, boudin trail and yeah. cracklins and um, the the collards <laughs> and um, crawfish. Of you know of the areas in between, so I mean yes, food for any culture really, because I mean that's where the family comes together and you know spends time and mm -hmm. celebrates and you know enjoys each company and things like that, and so food is a huge. Oh my gosh, you guys cultural. must have been like all upset when the, the shelter in place and COVID. Like, and what did you guys yeah, do? Yeah. What did you do? I you cook. Cooked. Uh, Arlene is an amazing, amazing <laughs> chef. Okay, we did cook, but we did, but we did. Um, my husband and I early on said, which. 
between the Convention Visitors Bureau, the Chamber of Commerce, Main Street, City, Heritage Area, we um, actually launched a, a local campaign during all that time. Um, we actually had been working on this campaign. Um, it was the Go Natchitoches campaign, Eat Shop Stay, you know, yeah. Eat Shop Play Local. Um, We'd actually been working on this for about a year, and every time we'd get, say, okay, is it, do we want to launch it now, something would happen, and we'd say, oh, no, we need to wait till after Christmas, or we need to wait till after this. And so when, you know, the shutdown order came down, it's one of the, I remember one of them in the group said, well, I guess now it's time to launch. <laughs> and so we just did, and we just pushed it out, and one of the things that we pushed out was Takeout Tuesdays. Okay. And so really encouraging people to order out from local restaurants, specifically on Tuesdays, but any day, of course. Um, but, so that was one thing that my husband and I said. And, and even throughout the time, we said, you know, even when this is over, let's keep doing this. Yeah. yeah. Takeout Tuesdays. Well, I mean, see, we like it because you can take it to a park. And mm-hmm. see, that's yeah. kind of how Nancy and I live, and we try to do it with salads as much as we can. But obviously, that hasn't worked. Really? But, <laughs> but no, but the Takeout take out Tuesdays, you've got Walk It Out Wednesdays. you got Takeout Thursdays, you yeah. know. Fry it up Fridays in Louisiana. Booty Fridays. <laughs> Fry it up Friday. I love it. <laughs> no, but so this, so you've got that out. Go Natchitoches. So that's all part of the app. Too? So yes, yeah, some of that is, um, is most of that information is on the app, and you'll see it in our social media channels. Um, cool. But it, it was a real strong push to remind locals to shop local during this time. Everybody you know, don't help just, each other. Yeah, because yeah. you know, and, and with that messaging that if we don't help our mm-hmm. local businesses now, they won't be here when right. we come out of this. They will not come out of this. Yeah, and um, and a lot of um, a lot of these businesses didn't actually close down. They just may have not been t- let, allowing people to walk in but you could order off their website and go and pick it up yeah, or you okay. could call and say this is what I need and they would they mm-hmm. would even take you into private shop Cafe Fredericks was open the entire time they just limited how many people were in the store mm-hmm. you had to go in in and out one inch oh, and everybody Cafe Fredericks is yeah, this is a huge just says store. the oldest mercantile in the state of Louisiana mm-hmm. And when they say mercantile, they're not joking. It had you were just talking about going in and getting what your lights for between your microwave and your stove, <laughs> the appliance I mean, lights. Yeah, I mean they have. You can go get your keys cut. Uh-huh. I mean you can air go, filters. They have li- everything. Little red wagons. They have yes. baby Priscilla little sock monkeys. Not trying. Yeah, they have yeah, Coca Cola. Uh, registry. Yeah, they've got a little bit of everything. They yeah. have home. You know, mm-hmm. um, cookware. Um, the black. The large, yeah, uh, the cast iron. Cast iron, and sorry. Yeah. Oof. yeah, cast iron cookware and you Ooh. know um, knives and cake pans and so I mean they need gardening they have an armadillo cake pan for they the steel mittens. <laughs> but they did have a, a, a sock puppet. Monkey, yeah, that's what I was saying. That brown one. Uh-huh. They had a print friend. They had Daniel some. Boone hats too. Oh, wow, <laughs> and <laughs> and rubber boots. I'm trying. Um, they have plants. They sold a lot of plants during stay at home because people yeah. Start were gardening. starting to garden and things See, like I think that. Things like that, in a way, things. The COVID is sad, especially for those who who got sick or passed on. I mean, so there's some negative negatives, but there's some positives too. People kind of. Doing Spending more time with their family, starting to realize and, what's in their backyard, and I think you know, and, and also for us travelers to be able to kind of reflect on where we've been, and also, I mean, I know all the travel writers that we're friends with, right? Mm-hmm. We're all sitting there going, "Wow, I didn't realize how much we experienced," and so their social media and everything is going, kind of looking back and where they've been, and like some are just going, "I've, you know, instead of that one big story, I've got ten to twenty ones, you know." So mm-hmm. it's kind of changed. Yeah. And and at the same time for travelers being able to plan trips because if you stay at home you're saving some money and then you're going okay well I'm, when I go out it's going to be honeymoon style it's going to be a big, it's gonna be, it's gonna yeah. be a big one you know when you come to Natchitoches you, you got to plan at least two weeks <laughs> saying because it, it's never ending of what you can do oh, yeah. so um, that's but I, at I'm the same a, time you know we are a perfect just weekend destination mm-hmm. as well you know whether you're yeah. you're right down the road or you're just passing through um, you know we, we talk to people all the time who's you know are just from down the road the next mm-hmm. you know city down the interstate and you know we have attraction owners that have talked to them and said well you know 
where are you from? Oh, you're staying overnight? And they said, yeah. And they said, oh, well, I just figured you'd drive back home. And they said, well, no, it's the perfect little getaway. We can stay in a hotel. It's like mm-hmm. a staycation for them, you know, mm-hmm. rather than staying right in their backyard. It's just down the road. You feel like you're leaving, but you haven't gone far. Yeah. You're very central. I mean, Nancy and I said, okay, if we ever get off the road, you know, this is, we keep coming back here. This is one of those places mm-hmm. that you just keep getting sucked in. It's like it's like the Natchitoches, you know. The, <laughs> it's you know, vortex. We call that your hook. Yeah, it, it is. It's the Natchitoches vortex. We're getting sucked into the gas station, fried food, the nature, the kayaking, the plantation yeah. homes. When you go in there, all the history, um, and it has all the history of all cultures. And that's something to really understand when you go to these plantations. Um, I know right now the country's, you know. And up and down, and you know everybody's having these conversations, which is what needs to happen. Conversations need mm-hmm. to be had, and I think visiting um, Cane River Creole National Historical Park and seeing both plantations as well as Melrose Plantation um, really talks about all cultures here, mm-hmm. and 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 like the slave quarters, and you go to. Um, Magnolia Plantation, mm-hmm. and even when we went to Oakland, uh, you know Nathan, uh, the park interpreter, who's now in Aztec ruins, and we didn't get to see him when we were there Aww. last year, you know. But he was taking us around. He goes, "It's something people always want to see. Oh, we to see the big house." But he showed us the tenant, the other the side of what you know, the you know, all sides. And I think that's really important, and you don't see that everywhere. Mm-hmm. And I think that's well, really and that's nice about really here. what they pride themselves on here, um, especially with. The, the current conversations in the world and mm-hmm. they do tell the complete story mm-hmm. they talk about all sides yep. um, I mean when you at Oakland when you go out to hear the, the what we call the cabin talk at the sharecropper cabin you hear stories of some mm-hmm. of the enslaved who um, were either released or when you mm-hmm. know the um, war was over and they left and they tell their stories about where they went and what they did while they were there. Mm-hmm. You hear the story of the blacksmith who was so well known in the area that other um, plantations and other businessmen would hire him to do all their blacksmithing mm-hmm. because he was so good and he has pieces at the National African American Museum up in Washington D.C. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, Solomon. Yeah. Solomon. Oh yeah, then Northrop. The, no, the North, that's, that's another that's South 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 South. Yeah. yeah, that's another trail that's down in the Bulls Parish. Okay, yeah, that's the not South too South. far yeah. from here. Nope. It's, so, but they do, you know, they do pride themselves on telling the complete story yeah. of, you know, that time period. And so, um, it is, it is very interesting, um, to visit there. And I, you know, you were talking about Melrose earlier, and it being a, you know, a story of strong women. And, and that's how I really describe Melrose to you. Mm-hmm. It's, it's about women yeah. um, and, and what they were able to do. And they were business owners. And I mean, a free woman of color who owned a plantation. Right. You don't right. hear that story very she, often. She was a spitfire, right. man. Yeah. You don't mess mm-hmm. with her. Listen, there's the story of the, of the ladies who worked in the laundries who ran the laundries laundries for the military uh, that we learned about at Fort Jessup State Park and uh, we're going to have uh, some stories coming out uh, just you know stay tuned to Big Blend Radio at bigblendradio.com for our history festival the end of August and you'll hear more of these stories of history um, one thing I wanted to touch back on oh El, El Patio that we went to mm-hmm. last night El Patio Listen, two for one margaritas, <laughs> real ones, good food, good, ones. good enchiladas, mm. good enchiladas. It was, it was a good meal, but the company was the best. So. Oh, <laughs> it was awesome to see you both. And yes. listen, the food, the flautas. And so this is all from Guanajuato, um, Mexico, um, which is a very historic uh, national heritage area or uh, UNESCO World Heritage Area. So I think that's kind of a nice connection that's there. Awesome. Yeah. Um, that mm. food was good. That was really mm. good. So we have new food, and you got your gas station trail coming up. I'm excited about that. You know, <laughs> Is, are po boys anywhere there? Well, yeah, oh, yeah. because the Lake Charles has po boys. Oh yeah, everybody has po boys. I think there should be one throughout the whole country, and we'll just follow it. <laughs> no, because you no, because Louisiana gas food gas station it's food different. is different. No. No. <laughs> no, 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 you. <laughs> Four no's. Heck no. no. Louisiana has its own thing with food and you can't, no. <laughs> I got the no's. Okay, last thing. Um, I heard that you're taking us mining tomorrow. 
Yes, you're gonna get to go mining for gemstones or fossils or whatever you choose. Ooh, fossil, cool. Yeah, Nancy likes to play with it's old fossils. I'm gonna shark teeth or whale tooth or something. Yeah, it's Nakanish's newest attraction. It's called Lost Treasure Mining Company. Um, it is in addition to our Dark Woods attraction, which is our haunted. Um, September October attraction and then they convert over to Christmas in the park for for the holidays and so they're expanding into Darkwood's attraction park and our amusement park I should say and um, so they're starting out with they have Lost Treasure Mining Company and um, it's set kind of almost in like Indiana Jones style scene oh, cool. where um, you have come across upon this mining camp and you can mine in the slough. I need a I need a Indiana Harrison Jones hat. hat. Oh I yeah, a, I need a hat. So um, it's a lot of fun. Um, it is a new family friendly okay. attraction here in town, which we are. So excited about! Um, I mean, we took my boys a few weeks ago um, on one evening, and when we left, I said, "Well, did y'all like it?" And they said, "Yes, ma'am." I said, well, "Would y'all want to come back?" Because you know that's always the test, right? If you take kids once, they're like, "Yeah, okay, whatever. We're not coming back." But they they were like, "Yes, mom, we want to come back and do this again." That's and awesome. So, to me, that was that was the best thing that they could have said um, because it meant that. There was something there. They enjoyed themselves, but there was something for them to go back to do as well. So. Had y'all gone out to the alligator park once before when you were no, here? No, okay. haven't done that. Well, next year when you come back, we'll go to the alligator <laughs> Sherry park. knows we're going to crisscross back. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> right up. That's someplace you haven't That's been. Safe. So there is that. So um, everybody, <laughs> Nakanish.com is a place. So it's Natchitoche. So N-A-T-C-H-I-T-O-C-H-E-S.com. Uh, check it out. Go on social media. Go Nakanish is the hashtag. And, of course, go to NationalParkTraveling.com because we keep up with what's going on here as best we can. But there's always something going on. So... Oh, you guys cool. are giving us a run for our fun. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks, Thank guys. you. <laughs>